Sticking with our working file, My Kitchen, we're going to look at how we can actually sort and filter our tasks. And when it comes to sorting and filtering, this is all achieved on the view ribbon. Now at the moment, our tasks are sorted by their task ID, and we can see that down the left, they all run numerically. And if we insert a new task, everybody gets renumbered. So that works fine. But as the project builds and grows, we might want to just change the sort of our tasks in the task pane on the left here. And we can do that using the sort option. So we click anywhere in, doesn't matter if we're at the top or the bottom or the middle, come up to sort, it has a drop down arrow, and we can choose to sort by some predefined fields. These are the start date, the finish date, priority, the cost, or their ID. Well, they're already sorted by ID, and that really is our quick way of getting them back into ID order. But if I went with the start date, we might find there isn't actually any movement because of the way we've built our project, our tasks are in start date order. We're all nice and chronological, but that might not be the case. If I change that to finish date, you'll find there is a little bit of a change around there. These two swap order, and we can see three comes before two. They also swap their location in the Gantt chart, so then the arrows start to get a little bit out of squiff. If I then go for priority, you then see things do change dramatically here. Four comes up above two and three, and pull up old carpets becomes higher in the list. So then the arrows tend to look a little bit out of order, but not too bad. We can handle that. To put everything back, we simply go back to sort and by ID. Now you're not restricted to just the five fields listed here. We can go into sort by, which gives us a normal sort by option, but we can do up to three columns of sort. So we sort by one column. If there's a matchup, then by a second column. So in our case, if we just move across a little, we could say let's sort by the start date. Now you'll notice here you get access to all the project fields, so there's quite a few of them. The start date is called start, so we sort by the start date, but where there's repetition in the start date, and there is, quite a few things start there on the 3rd, and another 3 there on the 7th, we'd then like to sort by, perhaps then by the priority. Sort. In fact, there's no movement whatsoever. So let's take our 10 through to the 7. Change, remove old units priority, and let's push that up to 700. Then go back into our sort, sort by. It remembers what we put in before, so start and priority, and then sort. And still nothing happens. And the reason for that is although we're sorting by what we think is the start date, behind each of these dates, there is a time element as well, effectively, because although that starts or appears to start at the same time, they don't. It starts on October the 7th and lasts three hours, then half a day, and then one week that is actually starting at the end of the day. How we can just trick it for the purposes that we want is to put these as start to start links, go in and place our SS in there, and then effectively all three of those do start at the same time. So when we go to sort by, Sort by the start, then by priority. Let's change the priority so it's descending, so the highest priority is at the top. So just looking at those three, remove all sinks, should move to the top. Sort, and in fact it does. We had to trick it by changing it to start, start, so they did start at the same time, just so that our sort worked. But obviously that's not going to need to be the case in a real situation where you're looking at sorting your tasks. So if I do undo a couple of times, take those SS's out and then back to where we were. So the sort option is on the view ribbon. We have a sort, we have some predefined sort fields that are listed, but you can go into sort by and choose any of the project fields that you might or might not be using, and there are a lot in there. So you need to be sure you're picking the right field before you did it. So let's cancel. So you can sort by anything. We could sort by the name. Sort, sort by and the task name is actually called name. Sort, and then our tasks get resorted. Now you might use the sort as a way of moving tasks before you link them up, otherwise your Gantt chart will look like mine, a little bit crazy. So if we went to sort and sort by, we could sort them and then choose this option here to permanently renumber the tasks. So it will move them into their new sort order and then renumber them. Exactly the same as if we'd cut and paste them around or drag them around to their new location. So it may be that you get all your tasks in, then sort by the start date, 
and then permanently renumber them so they get renumbered. Whatever makes things easier for you, and that's the whole point of using the software. Cancel and go back to sort by ID so everything comes back into my nice and laid out order so that when I look at the Gantt chart, things effectively flow from the top left down to the bottom right. Now, as well as being able to sort, we can filter. Again, much more of an advantage once you have a lot of tasks in place. We can already do a little bit of filtering without any work at all using our summary tasks because we can effectively hide all of the subtasks of a particular phase just by clicking the little triangle and they're hidden and the little triangle again and they come back. So that's one way of hiding or filtering away tasks. But it may be that we want to filter tasks out not based on the group that they belong to, but on some other reason. Well, that's done on the view ribbon as well. Here's our little filter section. There's a drop down arrow of some predefined filters. Maybe you would like to filter by active tasks. Well, in the case of my particular project, that's all of them because we've not done anything yet. Same with completed tasks. Nothing is done. If I choose that, all my tasks disappear. So we come back to active tasks, please. Or anything that's critical. Then only the tasks that are critical will get shown. So I'm now losing task three. Any tasks in a particular date range, that is very useful. When you've got a large project, you want to see what's going to happen in next week. So in my particular project, maybe that I would like to see what happens in the second week of the project. So it starts on the 3rd. So let's say everything from the 10th. Before that Friday, 14th. Okay. And then I get filtered out and I only see things that are happening in that week. And in fact, the only thing we're doing is removing the old units and clearing up the rule. Go back to the filter, choose no filter, and all my tasks come back. So the predefined filters in here are very useful for extracting and hiding and only showing those tasks that meet a set criteria. They might be critical or in a particular date range, or you might want to see just the tasks left to be done or all the tasks that are actually completed. Tasks with estimated durations. So if you've been putting the odd question mark in while you've been building your project, you can filter them out now so you can perhaps revisit them and give them a more accurate time. Tasks in a particular range, tasks that use a particular resource. So once we get on to resourcing and adding resources into our project, we could filter out by a particular individual or a particular resource. So that's sorting and filtering. We are going to explore filtering actually a little bit more in the next lesson. But for the moment, it's just been a quick introduction into how to use the filters. So we have sorting and we have filtering this little drop down box here with its predefined filters. And you choose no filter to remove all your filters. Thanks for watching this O'Reilly training video. If you'd like more information on this topic, click on learn more. Don't forget to subscribe to our O'Reilly video training YouTube channel for more tutorials and be sure to like us on Facebook.